With such a large universe, there are many high probability estimates that there are other extraterrestrial civilizations out there. But if there is so much life out in space, where is everybody? Here are 10 reasons why we haven't found aliens yet. Number 10. We haven't been looking long enough. The hunt for alien life was summed up in the 1950s by physicist Enrico Fermi, one of the designers of the atomic bomb, when he proposed what is known as the Fermi paradox. It states that there are billions of stars in the universe similar to our sun. These stars have a very high probability of having planets orbiting around them that are similar to our own Earth. If this is likely, then there's a high chance that intelligent life has also developed there. So why haven't we discovered evidence of it yet? The paradox is that even though statistically it is likely that there is extraterrestrial intelligence, there is no evidence. The simplest solution could well be that we haven't been searching for long enough. The universe is so unfathomably big and old that in the years that our radio telescopes have been set on the skies, we've only been looking for a small fraction of time. The chances of an alien civilization to have developed to a point where we would be able to detect it using our current means is very remote. After all, we only developed radio technologies in the past century. It could just be a matter of time until we find evidence, with many highly regarded researchers believing that it could happen within the next 10 years. After all, our technology is exponential. Wouldn't other civilizations also have exponential technology? Number 9. We already have, but didn't notice. It's quite possible that we have already found alien life, but we're either too distracted to have seen it or simply don't realize that it's there. The only life that we know exists for sure is that which is found on our own planet, so the signs that are being looked for are based on what we've learned from ourselves. Life elsewhere could be very different to what we know, and there's no guarantee that we'd recognize it. Our expectations, thanks to pop culture, make us think of creatures with bald heads when we think of aliens, and this preconception could be blinding us to the reality. Could it be that our own imagination has limited our ability to interpret signs of extraterrestrial life? Life on our own planet exists in wildly different forms, so it would be reasonable to expect the same to be true elsewhere. It could be so far beyond our own understanding, maybe even beyond light and sound frequencies that we can perceive, that alien life could well be staring us in the face and we wouldn't have a clue. And now for number 8, but first let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 8. They live under distant oceans. Keeping on the theme of alien life being very different to ours on Earth, it's very possible that there's a huge amount of life out there in the universe, but that a lot of it exists deep beneath oceans, which would make it very difficult to detect. Researchers believe that oceans, not even necessarily ones made up of water, are a common feature throughout the universe, something that's backed up by evidence seen in our own solar system. There are a number of objects nearby, such as Jupiter's moons, Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa, which have a crust of ice but underneath is an ocean of liquid. In these circumstances, the ocean is a much more stable environment. The ice crust protects everything beneath it from things like solar flares and meteorite collisions. This protective shell, though, would also cut off any life living below the surface from the wider universe and make it much more difficult to detect or communicate with. It's even possible that there's life within the reaches of our solar system in oceans like this. We just don't have the technology yet to know for sure. Number 7. Alien life hasn't developed yet. Fermi's formula for discovering life might have made a false assumption that could explain why we haven't discovered alien life yet. It's not that alien life hasn't or won't develop, it's just that it might not have done so yet. While the universe is 13.8 billion years old, which to us is an incredibly long time, some researchers are now starting to believe that the Earth was one of the first habitable planets to form, and so it would have been one of the first places for life to develop. This theory has become more and more accepted after studying data from both the Kepler and Hubble Space Telescopes, in a study which suggests that 92% of the universe's habitable planets are yet to be born, most of which still won't be in existence until after our sun burns itself out in about 6 billion years. The universe could be a very quiet place right now, but this might not be the case forever. One sobering thought that this raises is that at the time that we exist, we're able to see the remnants of the beginning of the universe, something which gives us a fairly good idea about how the universe began and how it became what it is today. 
This won't always be possible though, and civilizations around stars in a few billion years' time will have no way to see this at all, potentially leaving them with a much lonelier feeling. Number 6. The Dark Forest Theory There's a more worrying theory about why we haven't discovered alien life yet, and it's called the Dark Forest Theory. Some equations suggest that there should be as many as 20 civilizations living in our galactic neighborhood, but rather than reaching out to us, maybe they are purposefully keeping quiet. But why would they do this? It's a simple reason, according to the dark forest theory, since all life forms want to stay alive, and there's no way to know if other life forms will destroy you if they get the chance, then the best option is to avoid them altogether. Think about it, Earth's history is full of examples of more powerful creatures, or human civilizations destroying less capable ones. It still happens today, and in some ways it is our nature. So what does that mean of extraterrestrial species? The chances of them being universally friendly are about as likely as you walking down the street and expecting everyone here to be. In most cases, especially in a place you're unfamiliar with, the best option is to keep to yourself, but be polite of course. And that's exactly what nearby civilizations might be doing. Number 5. They live on super-Earths Humans have developed the technology to send vehicles beyond the orbit of our own planet, and that's a major factor in our ability to look toward distant worlds and search for life out there. But what if this development had proved too difficult to achieve? It might mean instead that we would be limited to exploring our own planet and have to give up on our ideas of exploring the universe. Well, this could be what's happened to other civilizations on other planets. The search for planets around other stars with inhabitable zones has found a large number of super-Earths, those that are more than 10 times the size of our own planet. Because of their increased mass, these planets also have a much stronger gravitational pull. This would mean the escape velocity would be as much as two and a half times what it is here, and that would make launching rockets much, much more difficult. It's tricky enough on our own planet, and current technologies probably still wouldn't be able to achieve it. This inability to reach orbit would mean that these civilizations would be very difficult to detect, and even more difficult to contact. Number 4. There isn't any It's not such a popular explanation with those who look at the size of the universe and the seeming unlikeliness that our planet is the only one to have developed life, but it's still possible that there simply is no alien life to discover. Sorry to disappoint. The only place in the universe that we know supports life is on Earth, and the idea that life exists elsewhere is merely prediction and speculation. Some studies have even suggested that the probability of us being alone in the Milky Way is between 53 and 99 percent, while the probability of us being completely alone in the universe could be as much as 39 to 89 percent. Number 3. We're looking in the wrong place for the wrong thing. Our search for life elsewhere in the universe is based on one major assumption, that this life is organic. Some futurists think that this is a big mistake though, and that we should be looking for signs of robotic life. Look at ourselves for example. We only first started using radio around the turn of the 21st century, computers began being developed in 1945, and now we all walk around with our powerful handheld devices wherever we go. The race is now on to create AI technologies, something that is already happening during our lifetimes. If our successors could well be super intelligent robots, and this is something that's developed in such a short amount of time, then the same thing is quite likely to have already happened on other planets. Perhaps just searching inhabitable planets is the wrong place to look, because robots will be able to survive in most parts of the universe, presumably locating themselves where the most useful natural resources are found. Number 2. Dark energy is pulling us further apart One of the biggest mysteries of the universe is dark energy, the unknown force that is causing everything to expand. This is causing distant stars to seem dimmer to us, and scientists think that in a few trillion years, the only light that will be visible from Earth will be the very closest galaxies. Not only will these stars become unobservable, but they'll also become inaccessible. This puts a time frame on discovering alien life, because it is constantly moving further away from us and therefore becoming more difficult to find. It also means that if we want to discover and even communicate with aliens, we'd better hurry up. Number 1. They have already died This theory is one that has gained a lot of traction recently, and it is the idea that alien life was once abundant, but has already died. 
This could be because of natural events or, as many believe, because they have caused their own extinction. Civilizations that are ahead of us in their progress could have caused climate change and may have already suffered the fate that we are heading towards if things don't change. Maybe they couldn't adapt quickly enough. They also could have destroyed themselves with weaponry. At the height of the Cold War, there were enough nuclear weapons on Earth to obliterate the planet many times over, so it's quite possible that other civilizations weren't as successful in avoiding this outcome. Finally, it's thought that the development of life needs very specific conditions, and that there's only a few hundred million year window for a newly formed planet to get things started. If life doesn't reach a certain stage during the early stages of a planet, then maybe it won't get a chance to develop at all. Thanks for watching! Do you think we are alone out there? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!